Sounds cool. You gotta get her working then. <laughs> Icy time. So if you really wanted to chill it down, you could put antifreeze in your chill water over here. It doesn't touch your chemicals, so this water is not touching your substance. I can't get this out. I'm recording this whole thing. We're just stealing sweet tea. <laughs> I have problems. Well, that's a ice hearted remark. <laughs> Distill. So keep an eye on the temperature. That'll help us know when. Now, the reason for a round class versus an uh, Erlenmeyer is that the heat circles are going to be going like this, so it naturally mixes. So that's the advantage of a round class versus a flat one. Where it comes out. In. So like down there. Well then. And turn the water. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Bring two. Well, put this two in the middle. Like a little drink down there. Okay, you drink it. Hey Ben, I'm recording this for YouTube. Explain what. Explain what's happening. Okay, so basically, we're heating this up. The gas is from here. We'll go through this. They will condense back into water from this, which will then drain to here. And then the other gases will escape through here. Okay. Sounds simple, but it looks complicated. And there's still <laughs> water going in through here with a pump. And we got the burner there heating up the tea, which we were distilling. I do wish to clarify we are not making moonshine in this video. <laughs> <laughs> I think my arms are gonna get tired before I, this happens. It's about ten. It's about ten till now. I'm staying in here. I'm not just taking a picture. I'm recording. Look, well, the tea is like actually starting to bubble a little. I can actually look at it. It looks like the tea is starting to get to the point where it's almost about to bubble or something. Do we got our vent pulled? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Pulled. Put a little clamp on there. Well, a little clamp. Um, yeah, that's all right. If we had alcohol, we'd want that vegging out to somewhere else. Besides here. Yeah. It's about time for advisory, so it should be our advisory teachers now. Um, I can send an email out. Um, I, I have stakeless. Is anybody needing to go to advisory, or are you all going to stay here? I'm good here. Any Are any of you three going to advisory? Yeah. No. You guys going to stay here, or are you going on the advisory? Yes. You guys stay here, going on the advisory. Tea's boiling. Hey, our first Hey! Tea's boiling. That's pretty good. Mr. Morgan, there's no milk out of the There we go. Now I can get a good shot of it. Man, the tea is boiling. So now it's going up into the into the condenser. And it's going down into there. Water. So we started about 250 milliliters of tea. We're gonna find out how much we end up with. <laughs> it's going. It's going. Oh, it's coming out. It's dripping. Temperature, and about 95, just a little short of 95. Well, Wait, does it count my ones or twos? I 
back isn't going to be right. So what are you doing? Trying to get more flow in? What does that do? Does it just put more flow? So what? It just... Yeah, we still got water going. Was it cold? Ice water. <laughs> So is it actually going into the little flat? Is it going into the round flat? Or is it just building up? The only water I'll accept through. And then you're gonna let it go and then right here. You can But you can't feel it. Yeah, but I wouldn't do it. Yeah. I have to do it for science. You don't have to do nothing for science. Boiling tea, boiling tea. Really, really slow drip count. Like, it's not even making a... There's like no water in there. There's no... Oh, there's a little water. There's a little water coming. Just, it's very slow. You, you, you can see it. You can see it dripping a little. Do you have it on? Can you actually let more go through? Like, if you turn the valve here, couldn't you get more to drip? No. No. There's a tiny pinhole size hole. And that has been my science club while we're just we are distilling sweet tea. It's actually kind of cool.